of stuff that I need to feel confident to build this build to the level that I want to do. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put this away and I'm going to show you something. And as far as I can tell, nobody else has done a review of this detail upset for the Bismarck at all. It's the brand new trumpeter release. So what we're going to do is we're going to show that to you now. All right, just let me put this big bad boy away. All right, guys, here's the uh, trumpeter release, the brand new trumpeter release for the Bismarck 1-200 scale. As you can see, this is a pretty big box. It's not super cheap, but it's actually not the most expensive option either. There's many more things. And I Love Kit is essentially Trumpeter, and they've partnered with Pontos, apparently. Right? So here we go. Um, if you can see the, I don't know, I would call it like a record. <laughs> It looks like a record. And also, you can see how the light changes color on the printing. All right, so this box isn't cheap. I did manage to get it for a really great price. Thank you, Aaron, from Avalon Hobbies. Um, go, it retails for about $400. And what this gives you is probably a year worth of pain. So I'm not going to go through the entire instruction manual, but here's all the parts that you get. These are all brass. Let's try and see. Yeah, let's see. These are all the brass fittings and everything. I am going to go through this kit and ensure that all these pieces are here, but this is going to take a while. And I was a little anxious. Um, this is typical Pontos instructions. Not saying that I'm an expert, but I have watched a lot of videos on how Pontos works. So. This is what this is all about. Um, you have reds removed. This is all photo etch. You know, so you have to combine this with your instructions with the actual kit and figure out what you're trying to replace and everything. It's not entirely clear, but you know, you're gonna spend some time, you'll you'll figure it out. All right, so that's the gist of the instructions. So take a look at this one. That's a lot of photo etch, and I'm pretty sure it's uh, the 105 millimeter guns. There's probably about 10 of them on there. So times 10. It takes a long time to do this shit. Railings. Here's all the new barrels as well. Look at the nice texture on the deck. Yeah. So here we go. If you guys haven't seen anything like this, neither have I. <laughs> Here's the mast assembly. Ladders. All right, so wish me luck, guys. Anyways, you can see the instructions are complex, long, and this isn't gonna be an easy thing at all. So, but I think that because this is my retirement grail build, this is exactly what I needed. I feel like I've, I've gotten enough for my money that I don't need to do anymore. This kit is great. All right, so here we go. First layer of foam. This kit is well protected. Here we have resin blast bags for all the guns. Here we have the main guns, all turned brass. I'm not gonna take them out right now because there's a lot of little parts in here that I just don't wanna lose. I'm not sure if they're rifled or not. We'll find out. Even if they're not, I don't care. And then as we go through, just barrels, barrels, barrels. These are all gun barrels, all of them. Here we go into the mast and the screws, which are really nice. These are all solid brass, which is cool. So this makes up a good portion of the weight. There you go. Pan across, there you go. Brilliant set. Now we're gonna take in the next layer of foam off because this is well protected. And inside here, what you have is 11 sets of photo etch. Each one is individually bagged. And you 
as you can see, zoom in a little bit more, bud. The detail on that is fantastic. So you got one, two. Okay, so here you go. You have your stairs where you got to bend all the individual steps. I mean, a lot of this stuff, I don't know what it's going to be until it gets there. Oh, there we go. Got the glare off. Here's all the stuff for the funnels. Let's get that. Look at that. Look at all those little bastards we're going to deal with. It just keeps going on and on, guys. There's just page after page of it. Those are for the searchlights. And you can see right through them. Brilliant stuff. More ladders, stairs. I don't even want to know what this is all about. <laughs> Seriously. Here we go. Way more delicate stuff. Oh, there's more. These are for the tops of the boats. The boats come with all the framing around for the glass and everything. The planes, you can cut them apart, fold them, and it comes with all the detail for the wings if they're folded. Right down here, we got oars. You can see all the texture in there. Seems like a lot of money, but when you look at all this stuff, to make all this stuff is that's some serious money like look at how are we going to deal with those just so you know they're like that big <laughs> good luck cutting those out all right the last fit like i said i'm not going to explain to you what all this is because i don't know but this is what's all in here so, actually, I'm going to put them all back in the same order because I don't know if that matters, but it might. So, I'm going to do that. Just careful, careful, careful. I'm going to stack them all up and put them all back in. Try to. All right, now we're good. That's all the P. I think that's enough. Then we take off yet another piece of foam. That's where all the P actually was stored. Oh, wait, where'd the decks go? Ta-da! Sorry guys, I was just fucking with you. Here's where all the decks are. I haven't taken this apart yet. This is extra railings. I'm assuming that this is on top of what's provided in the kit because these are finer, but there's not very many of them. So I think that they're taking into account that you're gonna use a lot of it from the kit, which is okay. Can you see how fine that is? I've looked at the kid's stuff, it's not that fine. So, you know, we'll go with that. Now, here we have the wooden decks. I'm not gonna take these out of the package because these are just way too fragile. But as you can see, now get in there close. Can you see all the different colors in the planks? There you go. Yeah. A lot of it is laser etched right from where they were cutting the parts, however, the deck itself has a ton of variation. 
which is very rare for most of the other decks. So for this one, I feel quite confident and happy with my decision to purchase. It's kind of what I wanted, you know, this to get all the different stuff in here would have taken about three different kits and there would have been at least four or $500 worth of shit that you probably didn't use, you know, because you wanted the best out of every little part. To me, I feel like this kit kind of encompasses all the, all the major parts without having to go any further. And uh, so I'm quite happy with the purchase. And you know what, guys? Build on. This one's coming up as a video build soon. Like, subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Watch it. <laughs> Riley's going to be my cameraman. He's going to be my editor. So we're going to test his metal, too. All right, guys. This is Rob and Riley. Signing off for Model Makers Union. Thanks for watching this review. And uh, we'll see you as soon as the video build starts. All right. Take care, guys.